your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good morning, I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Crews in Holyoke responding to a tractor trailer fire on Elm Street Tuesday night. That call came in just before 10.30 p.m. The Holyoke Fire Department posting these pictures on their social media. That fire was put out quickly with minimal damage to the other parked cars next to it. The Holyoke Fire Department, Police Department, and Mass State Police are now investigating the cause. The Holyoke Fire Department also responding to a house fire on Hitchcock Street just before 1 a.m. this morning. Crews were on scene for over two hours working to put out those flames. Holyoke Fire officials tell us that fire was contained to the kitchen and back porch area. All residents were able to get out safely. New developments expected today in the abduction and homicide of 10-year-old Holly Perenin. Hamden DA Anthony Galuni will be releasing new evidence in the nearly 30-year-old cold case later this morning. Her remains were discovered in a wooded area off Five Bridge Road in Brimfield back on October 23, 1993, after she went missing in August. That press conference is set for 11 this morning. All right, weather-wise, we have an Arctic blast on the way for Friday and Saturday with that air coming right from eastern Canada all the way really from the North Pole all the way down into the northeast. So temperatures will be about as cold as it gets around here for a brief period, late Friday, Friday night, and on into Saturday. That's when we'll have wind chills at least, the fear, uh, what it feels like to expose skin as cold as negative 15 to negative 40. So extremely cold stuff here, at least for about a 12-hour period. But we also have that wind chill watch. It goes into effect Friday, Friday night, and for Saturday. Saturday morning. It's going to be short lived though. I think after that, temperatures will actually start to come up pretty quickly. And today, not bad. I mean, seasonable temps in the lower 30s, a lot of sunshine around. And as we go through tomorrow, sun and clouds, high temperatures right around 40 degrees. So it'll be rather mild. But of course, that front comes down Friday morning with a quick snow shower. Temps in the teens in the morning, falling as the day goes on. Wind chills will be well below zero. Saturday is frigid. The wind will lighten up in the evening and Sunday. Look at that, a quick recovery with temperatures into the low to perhaps mid 40s. No big storms are indicated at this point. All right, that's a look at your forecast. Have a great day. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.